with the first NBA playoffs without LeBron in a long time, I've wondered who will be the new face of the NBA after LeBron James. Since he joined the NBA right out of high school, LeBron has lived up to all the hype and high expectations put on him. No other NBA player has been criticized more or held to a higher standard than LeBron. He gets talked about so much that if he were to retire today after the kind of season the Lakers had, there would be people saying that he is a quitter and that the Western Conference made him not want to play basketball anymore. LeBron has played 16 great seasons in the NBA from age 18 to now 34, and during that time frame, he's been the undisputable face of the NBA. You could ask a rugby fan who probably has never watched basketball a day in their life, and they could still know who LeBron James is. After 16 legendary seasons in the NBA, LeBron is now in the last act of his career and it'll be disappointing when he finally decides to leave the court for the last time. But who will be worthy enough to carry the torch passed to him by LeBron as the new face of the NBA? One can make an argument for Kevin Durant since he's been considered the second best player in the world behind LeBron. But to be quite honest at this point, I think he's too old. LeBron is going to be 35 in December while Durant will be turning 31 in September. So I think of two players right after that, Ben Simmons and Giannis. In an era where the three-pointer has been more important than ever, it will be very odd to have Ben Simmons represent that. We all see how much potential he has and he can be really great, but the guy just refuses to take threes. Both Simmons and LeBron both have pretty much the same skill set and yeah, even LeBron wasn't much of a shooter at 22, but he was in a different era back then and was still a better shooter than Simmons. For Simmons to be 6'10 and playing alongside Joel Embiid, not having a jump shot is a weakness that you just can't ignore. However, it's still early in his career, and I really hope he adds a reliable jump shot to his arsenal. Let's talk about Giannis. The guy is simply a walking mismatch, which leads to fouls. Being 6'11", most people wouldn't expect him to be as good of an athlete that he is. You know he's going to be driving and slashing to the paint, and yet you still can't stop him. The team put together around him makes it work that much more too, and if you leave him wide open to shoot, he'll at least take the shot unlike Simmons. During the regular season, his 3 point percentage was 25%, so it obviously isn't good, but at least he's taking it. Another thing about Giannis is that I think some people criticize him for being quote unquote not American enough, hence why his nickname is the Greek Freak. In my opinion, I personally don't think that's fair to say about him because he's from Greece and not America. Just let him be who he is. And if those two players aren't fit to be in LeBron's position soon, then perhaps the next face of the NBA is yet to be drafted. It could be Zion Williamson or maybe another name that we haven't heard of yet. In conclusion, Father Time is undefeated and LeBron James will eventually have to walk off the court one last time. It's the inevitable. While I know Kevin Durant is great, I don't think he'll be able to be the guy for basketball that King James has been for most of his career. Ben Simmons or Giannis are my top choices for the face of the NBA after LeBron because of who they are and how they play the game. And if they aren't chosen, maybe someone we haven't heard about will be next. Who do you think the face of the NBA will be after LeBron? Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you like me, subscribe.